before they start approving upcoming bills, budgets, or even hiring new employees in their districts. Parents, family members, and all of our communities should care about this meeting, this particular workshop being happening, because it is their locally elected school board leaders. They are the people that they put in a position to guide and to lead their local school. School board leaders from around North Dakota are talking about a variety of issues. So I think for the Grand Forks Public Schools, our biggest conversation right now are facilities, facilities planning, looking ahead at where we're going with facilities, and strategic planning for the district. Whether it's facilities, school safety, or new programs, the general consensus about school problems were all about the same. What we're seeing is that it is every school district that's being impacted by these same issues, whether it's north, south, east, or west, big, small, or medium, it's not exclusive to any one type of school. So these are big issues that we can be talking about as a state. And it wasn't just discussing issues from our educators. We're hearing parents say the same thing. We're hearing them say, we want our students, our children, to be exposed to a career. They may think they want to be an architect, but when they get to spend an, a day in an office with an architect, they may come home and say, I never want to do that in my life. Let's do that while they're in middle school and high school rather than wait for them to spend two or three years on a college education to get that. The school board members aren't meant to fix the problems, but simply discuss and come up with policies and mechanisms that are most important in their communities so they'll be ready for the upcoming legislation. So really to not let our school board members forget that their primary purpose is their students' achievement and not just a good balance sheet at the end of the day. Baszler says we need to do a better job of going over what our students have learned instead of just what we are teaching them. So how can we measure what they've really learned and how do we do that in a way can they really apply what they've learned to real life problems that are relevant to them. This is the second year they have done this particular training and participants grew by 39 percent since last year. For KX News, I'm Aaron Fields. Baszler says the best way to make any changes as a parent is to sit down with your school leaders because they're the ones who have the biggest impact. And mm -hmm. next year they hope to have a school board panel and expect even more people to come out. But Tim and Alicia, it really is very important to have meetings like this because most of the school board members didn't even know that big impact they actually had. Absolutely. Sure. Get everybody on the same page That's heading right. into the school year. Exactly. Thanks for sharing that, Aaron.